Spring is not officially here, but I've always preferred to go by the signs of nature rather than dates on a calendar. So I'm really seeing signs of nature awakening all over the place, which just brings a lot of joy to my heart. We had so much rain this winter, but the weather is definitely getting warmer all the time. And um, it's just nice to be able to open up the house and air out all the rooms after all the, the wood burning going on over the winter time. But this video is about our bathroom and the renovation that we did on that. Um, it's a tiny little room, so let me show you the before and then I'll talk you through what we did for the after shots. As I say, this room was really, is really, really small. It's really hard to film it actually because it's so small. Um, but there was a lot of horrible wallpaper that we had to strip back. The walls were damp as well because the house hadn't been lived in for so long. Um, it hadn't been heated, so it was quite damp. Um, and it was really a blank canvas because all that there was in here was just a small sink and the toilet. There was no shower or anything like that. We did think about breaking down one of the walls, kind of pushing out into one of the bedrooms, but we decided against that. We didn't want to lose bedroom space and I have no regrets about that decision. Um, we're not people who like to lounge around in the bathroom for long in any case. It's just a functional room to us. So the fact that it's a small room, uh, it doesn't change how we use it. Uh, so we started by giving it a really good clean. It was really strange. I was I, I found when I was scrubbing the floor, I found there were lots of um, grains of wheat in between the, the floorboards. So I don't know how they used this room. Um, if they stored things in there at some stage, it was strange. Then we had the problem with this wall where um, it started to crack and we discovered that the brickwork behind it wasn't very stable. Uh, the crack could be seen on both sides of the wall. So um, for safety's sake, we took that wall down and Nicola uh, replaced it. The plaster work in the bathroom also needed to be uh, redone in lots of different places, um, beneath the window especially where there had been a lot of damp, and then um, over behind the toilet and behind the sink because we obviously took those out. We also replaced the window, the, it was single glazing in that room and the, the panes were broken and the, the wood frames were quite damaged so uh, we replaced the, that window when we replaced the other windows in the house as well which was uh, quite a daring <laughs> feat because it's so, it's a, it's so high up um, and as I said Nicola he replaced all the plumbing himself So you can see here the plumbing was really visible, I wanted that hidden. So I found this picture online, this was my inspiration picture, this is what I wanted to create. So I showed this to Nicola and um, we came up with uh, a plan for hiding the pipes, which was to create like this um, wainscoting beneath the window and around the wall, around at, behind the back of the toilet as well. That way all the plumbing is hidden and you don't see it. And uh, that worked out really, really well. We used sheets of MDF to create the wainscoting and then we um, did like a framing effect on the front of it over top to hide the seams and things like that. Um, we installed all new fixtures, a new toilet, new shower and a new sink. And uh, this part of the wainscoting is visible from the inside of the shower. So I painted that part in black so that it would um, blend in with the, the shower itself and that when you're in the shower uh, and you're looking out through the glass door you wouldn't be able to see in behind and it also wouldn't be green like the rest of it i wanted it to sort of become invisible so i painted that black 
so the theme of the bathroom I wanted it to be very nature orientated so I chose this lovely rich green and I wanted to create a bathroom vanity so I used this piece of furniture that I found in the charity shop I think I paid 25 euros for it and then we just bought a circular uh, sink in the hardware store so I just sanded down that piece of furniture and used a clear wax all over it. In hindsight, I wouldn't use wax again. I would use the same product we used on our kitchen countertops, which was more like an oil. Uh, so I'll have to actually redo it because the wax shows up water traces as it turns out. But this was the setup I was looking to create. And you can see this open space underneath. This is where the pipes are now. So I needed to create a door to cover that up so that we don't see the pipes behind it. So this was sort of a temporary idea for the moment. I want to do a better one than this, but um, I bought a piece of MDF that was the right size and then a little handle, which has these nice little leaves or vines on it, which I thought tied in with the, the theme of nature in the bathroom. And then I just got this very simple contact paper with uh, green and silver leaves on it. Colour-wise, I think they go quite well together, um, but as I say, this is only a temporary solution. I would eventually like to do something with caning, but um, for the moment I'm using the contact paper. So I picked up some hinges as well uh, so that the door could be opened, because we do use that space to stock other things behind. And then these pieces of, um, I don't know what these are called actually, but they just look like uh, very small skirting boards, like pieces of frame. Um, and then this little um, box that you use to cut 45 degree angles uh, to create the, the, the framing effect. I find it actually quite difficult to get the, um, the markings precisely right and to get all the, the corners um, perfectly adjoined, but it turned out okay. Um, it wasn't absolutely perfect, but uh, with the paint over top, it doesn't really show. So this is what it looked like um, once I'd cut all the pieces together. So next I just cut a piece of the contact paper to the right size of the piece of the MDF. And um, that part was a bit fiddly, but uh, you just tried to get it on without any air bubbles. I think I used to credit card or something like that to or a library card to push all the air bubbles out so that it, it went on pretty smoothly. Then I just used this, once the contact paper was on, I just used this uh, very simple little nail gun to tack the, the frame onto the edge. So this is the end of it where the, the paper's on and the, the framing is on and then all that was left to do was to affix the hinges on so that I could attach the door to the piece of furniture, to the vanity. For the frame itself, I wanted to give it a touch of gold, as I usually do. So I used the gilding wax that I usually use um, on my other projects. And I just protected the paper with some A4 sheets and used a, a paper towel to apply the wax. This is the wax I always use, the gilding wax um, by Liberon. I bought this tin at the beginning of the renovations and it's still going strong, so well worth the money. So this is what the door looks like. Um, I spray painted the silver parts of the handle with a uh, copper goldy kind of paint, um, just to tie in a bit better with the frame. And then I attached the hinges onto the vanity. So it's not perfect, you can see there's some air bubbles here and there, but it does the job. So we tiled uh, the small section behind the sink 
and uh, here it is, the vanity all in place with the door and that way we can't see the plumbing pipes behind it and the two drawers come in handy for putting um, toiletries and things like that in there. So very simple but um, nice and homey and ties in with the theme of nature in the bathroom. This room is very hard to film, it's so small um, so it's difficult to give an overview but I tried to put little notes to nature everywhere like this leaf soap dish and all that's left really to do in this room is to add um, some plants, maybe some more art on the walls. We definitely need a bit more storage so I think some shelves uh, would go in really well as well, maybe up over the toilet as well, some more shelves. And I need to create Roman blinds to give us some more privacy uh, with the window. There is a privacy film on it but it's not enough so I'll, I'll do a video when I make those to share um, that with you and then I put this little curtain up here on the door because the door has glass panels in it which is odd but um, I put some privacy film on the panes as well and then the little curtain with the flowers and leaves to tie in with the theme as well. I found this little brass finger plate in the charity shop and it's really sweet and I did notice there's some finger marks on the door that I'm always having to clean off so I think I'll put this little brass plate just above the, the brass lock and that'll add a little bit more visual interest to the door and then it'll be functional as well because um, maybe it'll stop finger marks going on the door so I'll, uh, I'll have to look for a little brass tacks to attach that on and I think that'll add a nice little touch to the door as well. One more thing I did was to create these uh, little hooks using some of the copper designs that I made myself. Um, so I attached them onto some wood and added the hooks beneath them. That way we can hang up towels or uh, dressing gowns, things like that, and they tie in nicely with the nature theme. The toilet roll holder was a nice colour, um, I like metal and this one is sort of a, an oiled bronze which ties in well with the colour of the floor. So um, the wainscoting turned out really lovely, I don't think you'd even know that there was um, plumbing pipes behind there so uh, it looks like it's always been there which is uh, which is always a good thing when something looks like it's been part of the house for years. So I'm really happy with how that turned out as well. I hope you enjoyed this little tour um, and I hope you'll stay with us. We have more things that we'd like to share with you about our renovation. Uh, we've been creating this lovely cladding effect on the wall going up the stairs. So I'll be hopefully this summer and spring working on the hallway, um, doing painting, wallpapering, all that sort of stuff. And I really want to share that with you because I'm looking forward to making this a really beautiful space. I've got other projects in mind as well with things that I found in the charity shop. I want to create a nice chandelier for the hallway and the sitting room. I got some nice things like this little corner shelf and uh, definitely for the chandeliers I want to do makeovers of those and I've, um, I want to paint them in gold and I want to add little um, glass uh, glass crystals to the chandeliers. This one has some really lovely features like this amber glass. So I'm looking forward to playing around with that and trying to create something that looks a little bit old world and um, that will go nicely with the decor that I've created in the sitting room. So we've also been really busy outside. Nicola and I have been creating these raised beds. Uh, spring is fast approaching. It's going to be gardening season really soon. So we want it to be ready for that and I look forward to sharing that. Um, it was a lovely project with old palettes that we um, we were able to pick up so uh, that was a lot of fun to, to make and I'm looking forward to planting into those. So thanks for watching and I'm looking forward to the next time. Um, I hope you're having lovely weather where you are and, um, and yeah take care of yourselves and I look forward to the next time. Bye now.